Good evening. Welcome to the Stratford Shakespeare Festival Open Night of the Tempest 2010. Here we are, live at the Festival Theater on a glorious summer day. It is summer. It is June 25th. I'm very excited to be here. Tonight we are opening The Tempest, starring Christopher Plummer. You may have seen him on television in the film. You may have seen him on stage. Well-known individual. Very talented, playing Prospero. You know, tonight is the 50, well, this is the 58th season here at Stratford, and we're going to be welcoming some uh, guests who are going to be walking in here. It's not the red carpet, as you can see. It's the gray concrete, and it's very exciting. We have to use our imagination. That's what we do in the theater. Why are you here? I'm, um... Here for the opening of The Tempest by chance? Yes, that's it. I know, my hair's a mess. It's okay. Pamela Wallen, come on in. How are you? Nice to see you. That's great. Lee Myers is president of the board here at Stratford. Lee, how are you? I'm very well. Lee, I don't know what it is. I, whenever I'm around you, I get heart palpitations. I don't know if it's because I'm having some sort of a, a medical condition or I just, I just am, uh, well, I'm in love with you. That's just wonderful. The grand from all the people to interview me, it would have to be him. I'm probably going to suck at this because you're kind of like an expert at what I'm trying to do right now. Well, let's see. Let's see how you're doing. Well, first of all, what are you wearing? <laughs> this stage, the festival stage, tell me for you, what, what, is the, what is the magic that this stage brings to? What is it? That first year I was here in 1962, Peter Donat, um, who was playing Ferdinand, took me by the hand at the uh, cocktail party that they used to have before he started rehearsals the next day, the next day, and <laughs> took me into the theater, which was empty, but the lights were on. I now realize that's unusual. And he said, sit down and just look at this. And so he sat quite a long way away from me, and we sat there in the theater completely silently for about five minutes. And gradually, I swear to you, Dan, the stage began to breathe. And I've seen that ever since. That's yeah. a, a live being, that stage. Now, how are you? I'm fantastic. How You're are seeing you? the show tonight. I am seeing the show tonight. I hear it's wonderful. It's You're doing interviews. I'm doing interviews because they, they've, they've, uh, they've fired me from the shows I'm in. And so now I'm just going to do uh, interviews outside the theater, even when shows aren't opening. I'm just going to be here by myself. That's wonderful. I hope they're paying you well. No. Uh, so drop by any time. Now tell me, uh, Ethan, this is your first time here in Stratford, isn't it? It is, yeah. You having a yeah. good time? I'm having a great time. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Really, truly. I think what it shows is the incredible depth of the company here. Right. And I think it's why it's attracting such uh, outstanding directors and, and such interest now. Nora, what are, you, what are you doing here this season? I'm doing King of Thieves by George Walker and John Roby, directed that, by Jennifer Tarver. And that's a new play, right? It is a new play. Paul, what shows are you in this year? This year, Dan, I'm in Peter Pan and Dangerous Liaisons, where I do not play a child. Now, tell me, Christian, you're in what shows? Uh, I'm playing General Harrison Howell in Kiss Me, Kate, yes. and I'm in the ensemble of Evita. Now, I've seen both the shows. They're okay. And now, tell me, what, uh, what now, you're the, you're the general? Yes, I am. And, but you, you, uh, things don't work out for you. Are you giving away the ending? No, absolutely not. I'm just... Out. They could work out for me. It depends how I change the script. Ah, live theater. You see, this is what happens on stage. Anything is possible. Sarah Topham here, superstar at the Stratford Shakespeare Festival. Appears in everything about seven or eight shows a year. But here she is right now with us in the rehearsals for Dangerous Liaisons. She's here. She's also in Peter Pan. She plays Wendy. She flies with Michael Terrio. It's awkward. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah? Thanks for that awesome introduction. Well, I don't know. That's the mariachi band. They're exciting. Yes. Yes, and I brought my own orchestra. <laughs> yeah. Anthony always makes the subtle entrance. So, Anthony, uh, how many openings is this? Like 210? Yes. Um, uh, we're now seven into the season. We have another five to go. Yes. And tonight's very exciting. We have like a whole world here. Indeed. There's a lot of folks. I've been talking to some pretty important folks. Yeah. I don't know why they let me speak to them. The cultural, the diplomatic, the industrial, financial, the whole world's here. I guess they want to see Chris and a great play. Or maybe they just wanted to be interviewed by me. And there's that. 
You've been to Stratford before, I'm sure. I've been to Stratford many times, and this, this whole evening, my mother was a drama teacher in the small town where we grew up, and she used to perform or help the students, and right. she was a drama teacher, do this play on stage in the Wadena High School. Wow. And now here I am watching my <laughs> friend and uh, Christopher Plummer, somebody who I just think is, he's extraordinary. This is, I think, going to be a magical uh, night for Indeed. all of us. Good word. <laughs> Good word, don't you think? Dennis Moore. Canadian consulate. How are you? From the Canadian, I'm fine. I'm fine. You've been here a couple times already this season, I'm assuming. I have. I have. Uh, saw a preview of the Tempest, and right. now I'm here oh, for great. opening night. So. so you liked it enough to come back. Oh, it's glorious. That's fantastic. You know, and and this is one of those things where I would suggest to people that if you see it once, come and see it again. Sheila McCarthy is in. Uh, what's that thing called? Little Mosque on the Prairie. Little Mosque on the Prairie. Yeah. Season five. Oh my God! Season five. I'm so lucky. And but you've worked here at the Stratford Festival a number of times. Yes, not for a couple of years now, but the last, I. The last yeah. thing was Guys and Dolls, right? That's right, Guys and Dolls, and anything goes. Fantastic. Yeah, two years ago. You were huffing and sneezing. I was eight shows a week. Killed me. Killed me. I got like I can kill. Television's much easier. <laughs> now, Michael is a composer extraordinaire here at the Stratford Festival. This is your third season here. It is my third season here. See, I know better than you do. He did a uh, good yeah, work. Yeah, Romeo and Juliet was the first season. Yes. Then you came back with Macbeth. Yes. And now here we are back with two shows, As You Like It and The Tempest. Yes. Which means you've written the music for tonight's opening. Yes. Thank you. You've done. Very well. And Dennis has been reaching out to Canadian playwrights incredibly. Yes. Has us all here to stay and has commissioned us. Wow. And That's right. Now he's commissioned you to write a play, yes, right? Yes, he has. And then I'm working on it now. Yeah. Can you give us a little sneak peek what it's going to be? Oh, uh, it's multi. It's uh, <laughs> diverse. Tell me about tell me about the Tempest. It's opening tonight. It is. What what is is there a moment in in, in the show that that is um, uh, you know that means that is special to you? The special moment to me is when it's over, right at the end, <laughs> and I can relax. That's the special moment, and that moment to me means Chardonnay. <laughs> no, I I I I I'm very proud of this production. I I love uh, obviously everything that. Christopher Plummer does is sure. extraordinary. I think he brings tremendous affection and humanity to the piece. If you have a daughter, or for that matter, a child, right. you can relate to this journey. At a certain moment in your life, that becomes really more important than your own life, and and uh, it's it's such a recognizable thing in this uh, in this play, uh, the way he performs it. So that that uh, yeah, I'm I'm really very excited about this, and I. I think this production has genuine magic. That's awesome. You know, it's it's uh, and and the the play kind of promises that because he's right. of course the magus, the magician, musician, artist, and and uh, I think there is genuine magic on the stage. Now, what uh, what do you do here, people? Are you in the cast? Are you in a company? Or are you you work as uh, um, janitors? She looks better in that dress than me. Stage magic. This webcast is fabulous because we could say hello to all the family that's out there. Kelly, tell me, how long have you been doing uh, the Alexandra thing? <laughs> Kelly, sorry. Paul Dunn plays children. Hi. This is Sheila McCarthy. You may recognize her from the musical Cats. I'm wearing sequins as well, just underneath. It's, it's one of the great things about working at Stratford is we have four. We have the studio, the Tom Patterson, the Avon, and the festival, and they're all different types of stages. So if you come as an audience member, every experience will be very different. It's kind of what's really so special about this town. It is my final answer. And Christine Donato. Hey, Christine Donato. Actress, teacher, uh, dancer, oh, wife. Yes. Isn't that odd? And, and stunning. Is this is the worst interview I've ever had. <laughs> Uh, don't think of it as an interview. Just think of it as a time waster. <laughs> so you have a chance to really okay. be. Awkward oh, Randy Lord. Houston. Kick me in the. Mm. Uh, here I am trying to say something meaningful about the work. I know. And, and then Randy Houston. Randy Houston kicks you. Yeah. If I were a millionaire, yeah. I'd still be here. That's amazing. See, uh, schmuck like me gets to interview Pamela Wallen. That's all the time we have here on the red carpet, gray concrete. Uh, please come to the Stratford Shakespeare Festival. Get your tickets. You can get all sorts of great prices. We're here until November. Uh, you know, come see everything. You got Shakespeare, contemporary musicals. We'd love to have you. Anyway, have a great time. Thank you for watching and good night.